I have not filmed here for about a month. Uh, that's because the weather has been terrible. It's rained non-stop this February. So today is the 26th of February? 27th maybe? Um, the last day I filmed was February the 1st. So it's been quite a while. Uh, I've done some bits and bobs here. Um, and I think I'm just going to show you what it's looking like. The front is looking pretty much the same. The greenhouse is looking a little bit emptier. The pile of rubbish is still here, so yeah. I think that's going to be one of the last things I get around to sorting. Because I <laughs> have made some pretty good progress with this part of the allotment. My weed sheet has been blowing around everywhere, so I will sort that out. And here we are. I have uncovered ground. I spent about an hour basically not so much digging this patch up, but digging up all of these nettle roots. There's a big there's a big bit that's coming out here next. So yeah, the ground was looking like this. And now it looks like that, which is a bit of an improvement. <laughs> I started moving my compost heap that I just piled up there um, from here back to the back of the plot. I'm not going to use the Daleks for this stuff because I know it's a lot of weed <laughs> material and I'd like to use the Daleks to make proper nice compost in and then bring like veggie scraps from my house and stuff up here. Um, so yeah, there's one Dalek there, <laughs> which I'm going to use. That one, I could probably use that one as well. And there's this one here, and there's a black one just behind the plastic chair. So we are getting somewhere with the ground anyway. And then <laughs> there's this area. I mean, there's still a lot to do, but we are making progress. And I can finally get into the greenhouse now, which is good. So let's have a look inside. Ooh. I definitely need to fix this door at some point. Oh my gosh, it's really warm in here already. There we go. So what I've discovered, oh my gosh, it's boiling. Ah, it's so hot in here. So I've cl um, cleared some of the dead plants, but there's still obviously a lot to do in here as well. Um, the bed is a U shape, so it goes right round the greenhouse. And what I'm thinking of doing is keeping um, an L shape to this greenhouse, if that makes any sense. So yeah, a bed across there and down here, and then keeping this area for, I guess, seedlings and to store some of my equipment. I did get Josh to um, drive me down yesterday and we brought down a spade and a rake because I think I'm going to need them because the poor little shovel that was left, not shovel, fork that was left here is about to snap. <laughs> anyway, this is what the plot's looking like right now. It's not bad, it's not bad. And here are all the planks of wood that I am going to use to make some raised beds. So let me talk about the plan. So I think the plan for today is to continue digging out the nettle roots. Um, on the front half of the plot, if I get back here, that would be amazing, but I don't know if I will. Um, and then move the compost heap, move the rolls of artificial turf. And I'm thinking I will be able to put three raised beds along here. I think there'll be, working with the pieces of wood I've got, I think there'll be 65 centimetres by 110 centimetres. So pretty decent and I can fit three along here. And then eventually when I've sorted this area out, I can have two more larger beds, but I think they'll be in ground beds just because I don't have enough wood and I'm not going to go buying any wood to be fair. Our first job of today is to move the artificial turf 
out of the way so I can start clearing this bit and then move the rest of the compost heap to the other pile and then yeah get clearing this and see how far up I can get. <laughs> Just for context this is what I'm working with. The pond is here, got a path here and then I'm standing basically in the compost heap. <laughs> Right. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that here, it looks like there was a tree. This is a tree. I don't know what kind of tree it is, but it was like buried in a pot. Um, I think it definitely needs to come out and depending on what kind of tree it is, I will replant it somewhere else. But. I don't know, is this like a fruit tree or something? Does anybody have any idea? I mean... It looks pretty bushy to be like an apple tree or something, or is it just something that's accidentally been put there and I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is ask on the allotment Facebook page if anybody wants any of this turf. A lot of it is in pretty bad condition, but maybe somebody else will have a use for it. Otherwise, it will be going to the tip. Um, so moving this big pile of twigs and bits of dead, dead plant stuff, I stole the communal wheelbarrow. Um, nobody else was at the plot, so I felt like I could just use it. But yeah. Do I need a wheelbarrow? Is that like an allotment essential? So now that I've moved like this big pile, I don't really have much use for a wheelbarrow. Let me know in the comments if you think that I need a wheelbarrow, even though I've only got a plot of this size and there's also a communal wheelbarrow. So do I need to buy one myself? Let me know. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I just found a toad. I disturbed him. It's a different toad to the one I found before. I'm gonna go put him in a nice pile of leaves. Come on, toad. Okay, so the pile is pretty much cleared. Um, this is all <laughs> nettle roots, which is absolutely wild. So I'm gonna work getting rid of these nettles. I'm gonna keep some nettles on the plot because I know they're good for wildlife and pollinators and certain butterflies. But this zone, like <laughs> the front, well, the middle of the plot, or the front half, should I say, I want to actually be able to grow stuff on this year. Um, yeah, anyway, after that toad drama, I was very careful with moving the sticks. Um, so I've relocated the toad, made him a little nest. I hope he will be happy there. Yeah, let's get on with getting rid of these nettles. Removing these roots is such hard work. It's such a pain to do. And my back was aching so much after <laughs> this day at the plot. And I think it's because of all like the bending and pulling. Because if you snap these roots, um, another nettle will grow because they like reproduce through not only seeds, but through runners and I think it's rhizomes as well. So yeah, this is going to be a very long battle. And yeah, it's, it's yeah, I got really tired really quickly. <laughs> as you can see, I'm now removing all of the ground sheet. I think it will be a lot easier to work without the sheet in the way. But yeah, I will be keeping most of the weed membrane to reuse on the plot. And um, well, any good pieces I will reuse for pathways anyway. Oh my word, I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I've just pulled up the weed sheet. It's all in a massive pile over there, as you can see, because I thought it would be easier to pull the stinging nettle roots out because literally they're so long. <sighs> like I try and tackle one area, but half of the half the roots are under like this part of the this part of the weed membrane, so. Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle, so I decided to just pull all the membrane up for now. And then we can remove all of these roots because look, like these, 
they're so long <laughs> they literally run the length of the plot anyway these are the roots i'm gonna pull up now and look how nice the soil is actually it's really not that bad and i think i read the fact that the nettles are growing so much in this soil is that it's i think it's high in nitrogen and loamy soil i could be wrong but i think the soil is actually pretty good so there's a big nettle um what we call it stalk and root stock there and there which i really want to get rid of and then that will hopefully mean all of these nettles will be gone <laughs> i say gone but i don't know they'll probably come back then over this side there's a big nettle stalk clump there and there somewhere so once those are dug out i think we'll be getting through the nettle problem i hope <laughs> Oh, and the only bit of weed membrane that remains is this little square under here because um, by this orange bucket I have a toad hibernating. That was the toad I found a few weeks ago. He's under that little piece of grass. So yeah, that's why those are like that. And I didn't want to pull this piece from under him because he's on top of the membrane. So I just cut it <laughs> and that's fine. We'll sort that when he's finished hibernating so yeah this is the plot <laughs> this is finally ground these weeds are absolutely insane absolutely crazy and there's a lot more of them let's go so obviously the weed sheet had been down for a long time at least a year anyway so these white roots were the ones that were just running the length of the plot and they hadn't really put themselves in the ground because obviously I think they were pretty weak from not having sunlight um, so those were really easy to pull up and it was like pulling up cable <laughs> they were so long I was just like winding them around into like a coil and yeah they were pretty nice to get out and then after I'd pull them all out I felt like the soil looked so much better and the plot just looked so much better um, but I was exhausted absolutely exhausted from all the bending <laughs> and um, yeah so this is what the plot was looking like just before I left for the day I was too tired to speak but as you can see it looks a lot better I'd also collected up all the wood and put it into like size order so I could try and figure out um, what sized beds that I was going to make so yeah it's looking a lot better I was feeling good leaving the plot but I was absolutely exhausted <laughs> so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to see more of the progress of this plot please do uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below any suggestions of uh, how you might uh, eradicate stinging nettles for good so I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.